you sure we're on this toe? Yes, sir. Third time lucky, okay. Hello and welcome to Hitch Up and Toe. Today, I'm going down to the storage yard um, because I have a little project uh, for the caravan and I want to see what I will need. the battery box now I want to come and have a look because in our battery box if I get the right key we have a 12 volt socket I can't remember if it's a full socket or just a 12 volt outlet ah there we go so it's a full socket so I could remove that and put a 12 volt and a TV socket out there, there in its place so that's where I'm going to connect the external aerial I think so I'll get a, a socket to replace that one now this is underneath the bunk that's the battery box this is where the mains come in and underneath here that is the back of the 12 volt socket with the 12 volt supply so I can take that socket out, replace it with a 12 volt socket with a TV socket as well. Then I can run coax from here underneath the battery box. That lead you can see going up, that's for the solar panels at the moment. But then I can run a coaxial cable up to the cupboards. To take take this out, bring a coaxial cable along into this cupboard where the amplifier is. Now, one of these cables. Now, one of these cables is for the TV point at the front and the TV point at the back. We only use the TV point at the back, so I will need to determine which one of those cables is the rear, and I'm going to put a splitter in and connect the cable to it. That way we can run from the aerial through the amplifier to all cables, front socket here, to the socket which will be outside and to the socket over there or if we're not using the external aerial we can plug an external aerial down here which will run up to that splitter and hopefully back to that socket over there well, we just received the bits I need for the project we're doing on the caravan. Firstly, I've already opened this one. This is the splitter, which basically will allow me to connect another cable up at the amplifier point. So that's that. And hopefully, in here, if we can open it. is the lead with the F connectors already fitted on. This is four meters. I measured it about three so I thought just to be on the safe side so I only measured it by eye um, and it has a connector with it as well so just in case we need it to connect to that. This will connect to here, run through the caravan and connect to the back of the socket. So hopefully this is the socket. Now we saw I had a 12 volt in the battery box, 12 volt socket, which I'm going to take out, replace it with this 12 volt socket 
which has the TV and satellite connectors on the back. Okay, I've just cleared the cupboards out and determined which is the aerial lead we need, which is this one here. So I'm just going to unscrew it, ready for when we get the other lead through. Now this end needs to take this off so we can run the cable down the trunking there. Yes, I've fed the wire or the coaxial cable through after a little bit of hassle. And now I feed it through the top. Fed through. Because of this splitter, we can't actually fit it on with the aerial next to it. This one we don't actually use though. That is for the front of the van. So I'm just going to disconnect it for the moment. We're not going to connect the external aerial up to that because I want to use the external aerial as an input as well. So if we've got a site with digital TV, we can plug it into the outside of the van. So I don't want that then going through the amplifier. So I'm going to plug it into the other side of the splitter. Tight. And then I can plug <coughs> this into the amplifier. Like so. This is it. Put all the trim back in. So the cable's running through there and down and out here. So I'm just going to put this panel back on. Run the cable down, which this is now like so. Let's see if we can get the trim on. Hopefully, that should cover it all up. That's the trim on. <clears throat> now I'm going to run this underneath the battery box. Underneath that side. The socket we're going to remove from the outside, put the new socket on and connect up. Managed to get the cover off. It isn't easy with the amount of space we've got here. Now I'm taking this socket off. There's four screws holding it on. Which we need to keep because this new socket didn't come with any screws. Okay, that's the socket. 
That's the power leads. So, <coughs> let's get the new one. Oh. 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 it. Not that we'll probably ever use this 12 volt socket, but I suppose it's handy to have one on the outside. Okay. There we go, that is that one. Let's just put the cover on. Plug the lanes back in. And we should be done. Lovely. Just plug this into the bottom. Just the bottom one it was TV, the top one was the satellite. finished everything's done this splitter may be changed that later on so we can connect the other socket up which is only that one at the front of the van which we don't use anyway but apart from that everything's working fine all connected down there 12 volt sockets connected back up and the aerials connected Thanks for watching.